You're very muddy. Here, go under. Go under. Oh. I just want loving. Can you look at never get the loving that I deserve? Oh, dude. Oh, God. That's disgusting. It went with my mouth, Peanut. Go undercover. Yeah, there's it is. Good girl. You think Peanut will stay there the entire video? Highly unlikely, unless I continually pet her in some way or another. I don't, I'm not good at this. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to pet. Yeah, you better stop it. I'll kill you. All right, that's violent, Peanut. Peanut goes missing all the time. You guys know that. And uh, a long time ago, I think the first time she went missing, I talked about getting her a GPS tracker. When I went and picked her up from the animal shelter, animal control, whatever, uh, I talked to the guy and he was like totally against it. But one of my coworkers has three dogs and he had a GPS tracker for his pets. And um, Peanut, if you're gonna hit the mic, it's gonna sound weird, the whole video. And uh, so he was showing me the app that he had on his phone. And I was like, dang, that thing's pretty cool. So I went online and I picked one up. It is the Whistle 3. It is right here on her collar. It's about a, an inch and a half by an inch. Nah, inch and a half by maybe two. It's small, it's not heavy, it's not crazy. But um, this unit, this is the you know generation third, this is the third generation. The, the unit itself was $100. I don't like it when you wail it around like that. Can you chill, dude? Like just, whoa, 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 don't like it. Don't like it. Peanut, no, you gotta stay. Just stay for the whole video. Peanut, go undercover. All right, I'm undercover, guys. Well, not anymore. Go back under. No, it's daylight, we gotta go run. So yeah, the unit itself was $100, and then it uses cellular data. So the year subscription from, for AT&T was uh, $100. They had three different payment plans, payment options. You could do it month by month at like nine bucks a month, or pay for a year, and it was like eight bucks a month. I'm doing math wrong here. Or you could do two years for seven bucks a month. I went with the year, just because it was 100 bucks, so. $200 all in for this thing. So if you have Wi-Fi at your house and your pet stays within that Wi-Fi signal, the battery on these things is incredible. It should last you six or seven days. I originally, I filmed a, a setup video for it, but I didn't have Wi-Fi in my shipping container. So I couldn't do a, a good video on how to set it up, but it's pretty damn simple. If you can set your smartphone up, then you can set, this looks kind of creepy. Well, I want to go the freak outside and let me out. Peanut, all right, you're caught up in the microphone. Careful. Okay. All right. Just chill. Just chill for a little bit. So, peanut. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love you too. Okay. Can you relax? Just relax, Peanut. Just chill. Okay. All right. Thank you. I love you too. Okay. All right. Okay, can I continue? As soon as I talk, you're gonna freak out again, right? Yes, I am. You can set this thing up. Uh, I just had to go up to my landlord's house, connect it to their Wi-Fi, connect my phone to their Wi-Fi, get them to talk and be happy with each other. And then once I did that, it was good. Uh, now, when the dog is within Wi-Fi range, it's not using that cellular data. So it's not using so much of the battery that's in this thing. Since I live far away from their house and I don't have Wi-Fi back here, it only lasts for about two days. Typically, I charge it when I leave for work, and when I come home from work, I put it back on her and let her go wherever she wants to go. Uh, the first week that I had it, uh, I was just obsessed with it, and I was looking at it every freaking minute. Um, at one point, she was one mile away, like way back behind my house. And where I live is just the stick. There was probably three houses in between here and where she was at. And that was if she went out a little bit ways, a little of the ways. But she was one mile away and she was about to cross over a, not a busy street, but one of the, another back road. And so I, wa I went and got her. When I got her, she was like, what are you doing here? Why are you, why are you bothering me? Another time she was uh, a mile and a quarter in another direction the only thing that way is chicken houses and fields so there was nothing unusual about that i decided to just let her go because there was nothing back there and about an hour later she came back home and she acted like there was nothing wrong like she wasn't lost like it was something that she does normally it was interesting to see where she goes you know before i had it on her i'm sure she's been out there before 
and because uh, she wasn't acting unusual when she came back. Uh, another time she ended up about a mile that way. I did go and get her because um, I didn't like where she was at. There was a lot of main streets around that way. And so I was, I didn't like where she was at. So I went and picked her up there. And another time she was a mile in that direction, still on the r correct side of the road. She hadn't crossed over the main road. And uh, I let her stay there and I went to bed. I woke up two hours later and she was laying in bed next to me. So, but it is pretty cool to have it. I think if she ever gets completely lost, she's not gonna go you know, more than 24 hours outside of me knowing where she's at. You know, She might be gone for six or seven hours, but I can turn the thing on, check where she's at, and I can go and get her. She's gonna flip out that I take the, her leash or her, her collar off. Peanut, it's okay. We can have a little separation anxiety. So it does come with this. I gotta hot out Peanut. No, give it back to me. I want it back right now. Okay, Peanut, you got it. Okay, all right, hold on. I need to use it. I need to show. I need to show. No, give it back, you asshole. Peanut, we can't swear on YouTube anymore. You can't swear on YouTube. No, give it back, man. I will only, you don't want to just give it back. Give it back to me, you bastard man. <laughs> give it to me. So it comes with a rubber clip that it mounts around a, a collar. I think this is like an inch and a quarter thick. I do have a little concern that this could eventually break, but it hasn't broken yet and she's pretty rough on it. There's a little button on the side here. You push this and this twists off. So you take this and you mount it. And there's a charger that has a similar base. It's just there's little metal prongs there that line up with these. So you just put it on there, lock it into the charger. As soon as it's fully charged, I'll get a text message or an email. I get different notifications for it. I turn a lot of the notifications off because I don't really care. I just want to be able to open it up and figure out where she is. So in the app, I'm trying to show you the least amount of information possible, but it uses like Google Earth, Google Images. So when you set it up, you can set a perimeter. So I set that green box perimeter up, which really doesn't matter. I don't really need it because she goes outside of that constantly. You know, if I want to know, it, this, this will automatically update, I think, every six to ten minutes. And that's what's using a lot of the battery signal. Uh, if I want to update it right away, I can just click on the update. And it will, it takes about a minute and it will ping her and show me where she's at. I can also hit the track button and it will show me where she's been in the last few minutes and then it'll continue to ping her every minute. So I can see minute by minute where she's at. It does keep track of different stats and stuff like that. I don't really use it. I mean, five miles in one day, that's how far she goes in one day. That was 108 minutes of activity on a slow day, 2.7 miles, 6.1, 3.4, 11.3. Yeah, I mean, she, she goes on some adventures. So it's cool to see what she's doing. They do, they do set these little like goals that she can reach and stuff, achievements and stats. You know, she's whistled for 30 days. She's traveled more than 100 miles. She's working on her 500 mile goal. Whistle for 100 days, 30 day goal met. So she's meeting her goal every day, which the goal was kind of stupid. I put her weight and stuff in, and they set some standards, you know, some typical things for her. But I'm definitely happy with it. Uh, you know, I do have to, I look at Peanut now as like a, a battery, you know. I got to remember to charge her up and make sure she's fully charged and ready to go. And, uh, yeah, I'm happy with it. I think it was money. It was money well spent, right, Pernet? You freaking right. This bed would have been better if you would have got this sooner. Oh, and I did get her one of these beds. She doesn't want to lay down. She wants to run right now. She's She's been cooped up all day. It's time to run, Dad. It's time to run. So, yeah, I will definitely say that this is a cool product. And uh, money well spent. I'll put a link in the description to Amazon. But, I mean, just Google Whistle 3. Boom. Set it up. It's easy. If your dog takes off on you, I know most of you don't have pets like Peanut. You know, a lot of you live in cities and stuff where a mile is unheard of. Anywhere I've ever lived, a mile is unheard of. I always say when Peanut goes missing, you know, I pay like $500 to have her back or $1,000 to have her back. So to spend $200 on a GPS unit, why not? I mean, that seems to make sense and it works good. I know that wasn't like a normal video, but you know, a lot of you guys on Instagram keep asking because I did share it. 
Let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out! I'm out of here, guys. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next week, probably, unless this came out on, like, a Thursday. Probably, I don't know. Depends how many videos I film this month. Thanks for watching, and thank you for caring about Pina. Yeah, thank you for caring about me.